Hey guys, welcome back. So yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I did uh, a first impressions video of the Razer Iska chair, which is right over here, right? So if you want to check that out first, uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description below. But yeah, so I've had a couple of weeks to really uh, test out the chair. I've sat on it for hours on end each day. Um, and But yeah, before we talk about my, my observations, let's talk more about the design. So in terms of the design, you know, in terms of gaming chairs, there's very little give in terms of it being very unique. However, having said that, there are a few things that I really like that, you know, add to the whole Razer touch. Now, actually, in terms of color options, there is only one. You don't have multiple colors. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to change in the future, but I mean, for me, I personally like it. Uh, I like that it's in black. Uh, and I do like the green accent as well as the so like carbon fiber looking uh, accents on the side. Now, in my first impressions video, one thing I said was that I felt like it was built like a tank. Now, after two weeks, that has not changed. Now, this is quite easily the heaviest gaming chair that I've ever tested. And if you guys seen my, my videos, I've tested quite a few. Now, I don't have the exact weight of this, but this is easily the heaviest. Like when I, once you first set it up, uh, you you want to just move it and immediately like your muscle memory of how like how much force you should use to push chairs is totally off uh, It takes quite a bit of force to move it around a lot more than other chairs Now I think the two biggest factors of the weight could possibly the fact that number one it uses a steel frame throughout the entire chair Which is great uh, and also the base. So the base where the, the casters are connected to is also a very heavy and a very solid uh, metal. I'm not quite sure what metal it is, but it's definitely really solid. Now, it's not just the weight and the metal materials that uh, make it real, feel really tough. Now, even the, the PU leather that they use uh, is really unique and not something that I've experienced on any other gaming chairs that I've viewed. Number one, it seems a lot tougher. Even the texture of it is a little bit on the rough side. Now, I don't mean that in a negative way. It's not going to be uncomfortable. It's not going to cause any abrasions or anything like that. But it does feel like a bit of a rougher texture. Now, and this might only apply to Singaporeans maybe, or if you've ever served in the military. Um, you know, if you've been in a military vehicle, like the lorries or I don't know, any, any military vehicle, that leather in the chairs that you sit on is definitely a lot tougher. It withstands a lot more harsher conditions. Uh, and this feels, or at least gives you the same impression when you sit on it, it feels really strong. Uh, and yeah, it's just something that I've never ever thought to think about with other chairs. But for this one, uh, I would say, although I can't prove it right now, it would take some time to see how it ages. But right now, it just feels like it will last a really long time. Now, as usual, it comes with your neck rest or head rest below. Um, I would say nothing special, although I, I do like this sort of like a felt or maybe even a velvet finish. Uh, but in terms of the comfort, I would say you know, nothing special. And now we come to what is probably the most defining feature uh, of the Razer Iska chair and that is of course the lumbar uh, support system which is one of a kind. No other chair has anything like that right now. Now with most chairs, you probably get, you know, like an extra pillow that they will give you a lumbar support pillow, which basically does nothing. And 99% of the time, you're just going to chuck it somewhere else. There are some chairs that have that lumbar support built in that you can adjust and it sort of sticks out a bit more. Uh, but I have sat on those and honestly, it doesn't have a range of motion big enough to have a proper lumbar effect. But I have to say this lumbar support system on the Razer Iska, it basically works as advertised. I have to be honest, I'm actually quite surprised. I thought at first it would be a bit gimmicky, but after sitting on it for a week or so, you realize the amount of effort put in to design that whole uh, lumbar support system, not just the, the system where it protrudes out, but even the curve and how much it goes out and how much it receives back inside. Uh, everything just feels like it was very well designed and it's really, really comfortable for me, especially now I tend to hunch quite a lot, especially when I'm on my computer, gaming, or even editing. But if I were to stick that lumbar support like just a little bit out more, I feel that I'm forced to sort of sit in a more, uh, or like a better position that's better for my back. Uh, so that's really good. One thing I will say though, the base of the Razer Iska, I wish that it was a little bit bigger. 
uh, probably because of my size. But anyway, so if you were to, you know, extend the lumbar support system out a bit more, uh, it takes up a bit of the space on the, on the base of the chair. So for me, if I were to stick it out, then I don't have enough space to sit on. Uh, it's not that I can't sit at all, it's just not as comfortable. So I most of the time will have it all the way back in. So I do wish it was a bit bigger, but I'm quite a big boy. So I think for a lot of people, that's not going to be an issue. Another thing about the base of the Razer Iska is that I feel that it kind of slopes down a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's just with my chair or whether there's a design feature. It's neither good nor bad, it's just something that I, I, I observe, but yeah, it doesn't affect it in a negative way at all. But all in all, I think Razer did a fantastic job with the lumbar support system. Uh, they put in a lot of research that's kind of obvious and it works really, really well. All right, so let's talk about the price. So the Razer Iska gaming chair comes in at about 749 Singapore dollars which is quite a pretty penny, but it also does come with a three-year warranty. And I think in my first impressions video, I mentioned that you're gonna have to install it yourself, but now Razer has actually introduced uh, where, uh, a new thing where you can actually get it assembled for you. So they will come over, they will assemble the chair for you. You would just need to pay an additional $30. Now, take it from me. If you can afford that $750 Singapore dollars uh, to buy the chair, fork out that additional $30 to so have it assembled, all right? Uh, it's not that difficult to install per se. The instructions are really good, all right? It's very well packaged as well. One of the best packaging of any gaming chairs I've, I've had so far. Uh, instructions are really clear. The issue is that number one is the weight. It's kind of heavy. And number two, I don't want to ruin or waste $750 because of something that I did wrong in the installation, all right? So I would rather pass on that responsibility to someone else. So if you buy the chair, I would highly recommend you pay that extra $30 to get it assembled. All right, so the big question here is would I recommend the Razer Iska gaming chair? Now, there are a lot of good things about this chair. Number one, it is built fantastically well. It feels really solid, uh, really tough as well. I mean, I can't confirm how long it will last, but it really does give you the impression that it will last a really, really long time. Now, a lot of the aspects about this chair is kind of similar with a lot of other gaming chairs. So even like raising and lowering the chair, uh, tilting it back, you know, even the armrest, that 4D armrest, is pretty much the same in a lot of other chairs. But that lumbar support, that is definitely one of a kind and I actually really like it. It is the best feature on this chair. Now, it also felt really natural. That's one thing I have to say. Like even if I were to have the lumbar support protruding out or even if it was recessed all the way back, uh, it really felt like it hugged my body really well. Uh, so that's definitely the best feature of the chair, but whether it's worth that couple of hundred more than the other gaming chairs, I, I think it's really up to you guys. For me, if I had the money, yeah, I would. But what I will say though, that this is a fantastic first attempt by Razer. This is the first gaming chair they had. And I really like the fact that they didn't just get an OEM chair and just stick their name on it. They put in some real effort uh, to get the gaming chair that they want and they have to be applauded for that. All right, so that about wraps up my review of the Razer Iska gaming chair. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do and I would love it if you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP and I'll see you real soon.